When it comes to the budget, it's always a very personal thing. So what we like to tell the bride is go and do a lot of homework. Um, it's not good to, to, to try and get a quote on phone or try and send a WhatsApp pic to a designer and ask them to give you a quote on that because nine out of ten times you don't know what the other designer is quoting on. So it's all about the material that they're going to use, the, um, the man hours that goes into it. Is it going to be a beaded lace that you're going to put on? Is it a hand beaded lace that you're going to go, go and buy a cheaper lace and then hand bead it so that you can make it a little bit more um, interesting? So at the end of the day, it's a very difficult question to ask, but I want always, we, we, we like the bride to come to us and say, this is my budget. And then we want to, to be able to work around that and try and stay in her budget um, and still give her a dress without skimping on the dress if you have to go for a cheaper material or something like that. Because it's not always the, the, the most expensive materials that makes the best dresses. At the end of the day, it's all about the innovation and what you can do with material. Yes, and sometimes a dress looks easy to make and looks like a cheap dress, but the, the work that goes into the pattern design and the work into the dress is a lot more difficult and me, it requires a lot more experience than what it might just for a dress that just has a lot of lace on. Yeah. So to get the perfect pattern and the perfect fit, rather go to someone that you feel comfortable with and that you've seen their work so you can compare what they, what they offer you. So you know this is going to fit me perfectly compared to someone that might be cheaper but you don't know how their dress is going to look on you. Yeah, we've actually got a thing that we always say is that if someone sends you a pic and say this and this is a, a easy, it's a, it's a simple dress. Yeah, simple. yeah, it's a simple dress. I just need a quote on the simple dress. I immediately put 10,000 and I add on to the bill because at the end of the day, that dress, no dress is ever simple. And that's why I'm saying, so do a lot of homework, go to a few designers, fit, fit some of the dresses. You will immediately see what is the quality um, of their work, the quality of material that they use. And like I said, at the end of the day, any budget can be met um, as long as you are willing to listen to the designer um, and then they can help you with all your choices that you can make to get the best out of your budget. And if you speak to a designer and you see that what, what you want and the designer might not have the, what, you, what your budget is for a dress is not necessarily what the designer can give you, ask them what they can do to fit that dress into your budget because that's what we normally do with a bride. We'll give her an idea or an estimate on what the dress will be and tell her that if it is over her budget, come back to us and talk to us and say, listen, this is not this is over my budget. What can we do to compromise maybe or what can we do differently to still get the effect of the dress or the design of the dress but just at a price that suits that client. A lot of people nowadays ask us, is white still traditional? No, um, we like people to actually start taking chances. Uh, be daring, use your personality, walk down the aisle in the black dress if you would like to, have, to wear a black dress. So bringing color into a dress is actually very, very, very technical. But if you're with the right designers, they will be able to do it. It must never look like, a, I mean, for example, a red and white dress must never look like a Mama Christmas dress or a Valentine's dress or something like this. You can do it if you know how to blend your colors into one another, but it has, still has to look um, like a wedding gown at the end of the day. Anything nowadays can be a wedding gown. Yes. There is just no limits onto it. Now, and do, wear what makes, what makes sense to you and what people will know, okay, this is, this is her and this is the dress that we thought she'd be wearing. Never mind if it's a black dress or a blue dress or a grey dress or whatever the colour is. Don't let that hinder you in what colour you decide on for your dress because it has to reflect your personality. You get one chance to wear the dress that you ultimately wanted to dress, uh, wear. So don't compromise on that and let other people make your choice for you. So go to a designer that's willing to help you and guide you in the right direction for the colour and, and look for a colour that works on your skin tone and works with what you, you've got in mind. And that There's only one way to really know which colour is suiting you. Go and stand in front of a mirror, put the, put the material on you, you will immediately see if it's going to work or not on you. And um, I always say trust your designer. If he wants to show you a little bit of colour into your dress, put it in. If you don't like it, take it out again. But have the option so that you can actually... See. I think we've created a very niche market in the way that what we do now is we like to do something different. 
there is so many people out there that, that does your normal traditional wedding gowns. If you want something like that, well, feel free. Yeah, it. still, it's awesome. So go and do it. But if you want something different, this is where you come to get, to get it made.